Have you ever wondered why Muslims around the world pray five times a day, every day? This is not merely a ritual, but a crucial part of a Muslim's life, acting as a direct link between the worshipper and God. The essence of prayer in Islam is profound. It's an intimate conversation with the Almighty, a moment to seek guidance, express gratitude and find solace. Prayer, or Salah, as it's known in Arabic, is not only a spiritual practice, but also a way of life. It cultivates discipline, punctuality and mindfulness. Regular prayer keeps the heart in tune with the divine, fostering spiritual growth and resilience. It's a time of self-reflection, a pause from the hustle and bustle of daily life, offering a sense of peace and tranquility. Prayer in Islam is not just an act, it is a journey, a journey that takes the believer closer to their creator. It's an experience that transcends the physical world, connecting the soul to its divine origin. The five daily prayers are spread throughout the day, starting from dawn till night. The first prayer, Fajr, is performed before the sun rises, in the pre-dawn hours, when the world is still quiet and serene. This is followed by Dur, the midday prayer, which is observed when the sun is at its zenith. As the day progresses, the afternoon prayer, ASR, is held. It's a moment to pause amidst the hustle and bustle of the day and reconnect. As the sun begins to set, painting the sky with hues of gold and orange, it's time for the Maghrib prayer. This prayer marks the transition from day to night. The final prayer, Isha, is performed after the twilight has faded into darkness. These prayer times are not arbitrary. They are linked to the sun's position, creating a natural rhythm of worship throughout the day. These timings remind Muslims of the omnipresence of God, keeping them connected throughout the day. Each prayer has a specific structure, comprising of postures and recitations, all performed with utmost respect and sincerity. Let's dive into the beautiful choreography of prayer in Islam known as Salah. Each unit, or rakah, of prayer is a symphony of movements and words reflecting the harmony between the physical and spiritual realms. We begin with the standing posture, or qiyam, a symbol of respect and attentiveness. Here the individual recites the opening chapter of the Quran, Al-Fatiha, a poignant invocation for guidance and mercy. This is followed by another section of the Quran, allowing the individual to engage deeply with the divine words. Next, we transition into the bowing posture, or ruku. This act is a physical demonstration of humility before the divine. The recitation here is simple yet profound, glorifying the greatness of the Almighty. Rising from the bow, we stand once more, affirming God's eternal glory. Then we move into the prostration, or sujud, the apex of humility and surrender. Here, the worshipper is closest to their creator, repeating the glorification thrice, acknowledging the highest power. Following the prostration, we sit briefly reciting prayers of peace and blessings. This sequence is repeated for each raka, creating a rhythmic pattern of standing, bowing, prostrating and sitting, all while reciting sacred verses and prayers. Beyond the physical postures and recitations, prayer in Islam is about cultivating a state of heart and mind. Cleanliness is paramount, not just physical but also of the place of prayer. We face the Qibla, the direction of the Kaaba in Mecca, fostering unity among worshippers. The focus during prayer is crucial. It's a time to disconnect from worldly distractions and connect with the Divine. The beauty of Salah lies in this intricate tapestry of physical movements, recitations and inner states. It's a time for reflection, connection and spiritual rejuvenation. Remember, each posture has a purpose and each recitation a meaning. Understanding these enhances the quality of prayer, making it a truly transformative experience. The physical postures coupled with the spiritual recitations create a unique blend of body-soul worship in Islam. To sum it up, the five daily prayers form the backbone of a Muslim's daily routine. They are a spiritual anchor, grounding us in mindfulness and devotion throughout the day. These prayers, performed at dawn, midday, afternoon, sunset and night, each with their unique postures and recitations, serve as constant reminders of our faith and commitment. Yet, it's easy to make mistakes, especially for beginners. A common one is incorrect timing, praying too early or too late. Another is rushing through the postures, not allowing each movement its due time. And then there's the mistake of not focusing on the prayer, letting the mind wander. To avoid these, firstly, use reliable sources or apps to ensure you're praying at the right times. 
Secondly, practice patience and allow each posture its due time. And finally, try to clear your mind before you start your prayer, focusing solely on your connection with God. Remember, the purpose of prayer is not just to fulfill a duty, but to establish a personal connection with God. So, make every prayer count.